In this video, we're going to dive into some of the basic features of Practice First. Check out the video titled Creating Assignments Using Practice First to see how you can utilize these features with your students. You'll also find videos for creating tasks using music, Sight Reading Factory, and Flat for Education. Teachers and students can simply launch Practice First from the Software tab and start using it, but teachers can also create assignments for students to complete. Practice First is a software tool that automatically grades students based on a recording they complete. It compares their sounds and audio against the reference recording, which can be uploaded, but usually comes from the notation in the Practice First library or from an exercise you upload. The assessment looks like this. You can also get simple feedback by clicking More and Simpler Feedback. Might be useful for your beginning students or new students using Practice First. If you hover over the assessment, this goes for teachers and for students, you'll see built-in annotations that help guide before another recording is completed. Click on the stars to see a breakdown between pitch score and rhythm score, which are averaged together to get your total score. Length played is factored in when a student doesn't play the entire exercise. So for example, a 90 would become a 45 if students only submit five out of the 10 required measures. The pitch score incorporates pitch and tuning, and the rhythm score incorporates correct rhythmic elements and tempo consistency. The color variant is a reflection of pitch. Green is right, red is wrong, but most students will see lots of shades of green, yellow, orange, red. That's your meh, or needs improvement. The color variations and shades are intentional. A student slightly behind the beat isn't marked as completely incorrect, or beginners who don't have great breast support in their first year don't see super low scores because of it. The assignment tutorial will also show how to change the difficulty of the grading algorithm. When students record for assignments or you launch Practice First and complete some recordings, there are a few options for what you can hear while recording. There are also different options for listening back to the notation. You can see all those options under Tracks. Playback refers to playing the notation, listening and practicing before recording. Demo audio plays the notation itself. Backing track will play the other parts in the score that's been uploaded. In this case, it's a two-part exercise, unison, notes, and rhythms. You can activate a metronome, or once you've completed a recording, you can listen back by clicking Matched Recording. Your recording options determine what the student hears while they're actually recording. Follow Me mode prevents anything from playing. No metronome or backing track. And in this option, the cursor actually follows the student instead of moving in time. Recommended for more experienced users of Practice First or your older, more experienced players. The metronome will, of course, turn on a metronome. The backing track will play the other parts of the score. In this case, we recommend students use headphones so they are hearing the other parts, but it's not affecting their recording or score. And the demo audio will play the actual notation that students are recording at the same time. Some additional options. You can record using video, adjust the tempo, utilize a tuner, change the view from scrolling to pages and back again. And teachers have the option to mark sections. You can also add any individual exercise or a collection to your favorites. We'll be covering the content library in a separate video, so watch out for that. One other important thing to note, if you've uploaded a multi-part exercise, students are unable to record until they select their part. The recording icon becomes a lock and students have to choose their voice part or instrument from the dropdown before the recording button appears. 
You can email support at any time using support at musicfirst.com. We're happy to help, so don't hesitate to reach out.